welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So today we're going to be taking a look at this. Now this is a bullseye 10 kilohertz ultra high stable precision universal LMB. Now this has been sent to me by the guys that manufacture the dream catchers. Now this has been designed specifically to work with Oscar 100. Now the reason for that is because as it says here in the title, it's actually highly stable to 10 kilohertz without modification. It doesn't need any modifications. So let's just have a quick look at the specifications here on the side of the box. So here it says it's phase lock loop with two PPM TCXO factory calibrated within one kilohertz utilizing GPS locked spectrum analyzers ultra high position PLL, digitally controlled carrier offset with optional programmer and 25 megahertz output reference available on the secondary F connector. That's the red port. Now it has an input frequency of 10.0489 to 12.750 and the low is 9750 or 10600 has a stability at 23 Celsius of plus and minus 10 kilohertz and a frequency stability of between minus 20 and minus 60 Celsius of 30 kilohertz it has a gain of 50 to 66 dB and the output frequency is 739 to 950 megahertz this is the low band now this is particularly important because we need around 739500 uh, or just below there for the narrow band ssb output so let's have a look at in the box itself now obviously <laughs> there's not going to be much in the box apart from okay so we have the little uh, adapter here which can go over to protect the cables going in uh, and let's have a look at the actual lmb itself so it has some nice markings here at the top this is great when you want to do your kind of skew you can sort of see the increments now looking at the ports uh, as it said earlier in the specifications we have a red one and we also have a green one so green is the if output this is the one which will go off to your sdr receiver and then we have the red one which would be a 25 megahertz constant reference signal uh, and then on the label here it just kind of confirms the specifications that we've uh, already read out now what i'm going to do with this i'm going to compare it against uh, my octagon pll lmb and show you the results of how it performs from startup uh, and we can measure the drift using the display on the sdr software so this is the octagon quad lmb this is pll um, so what we're going to do we're going to hook this up to the satellite dish and then i'm going to show you the performance of this one before we go into the bullseye OK, so this is now hooked up and we've just powered the BIOS T on. So the power has just been applied to the LMB. The software that I'm using here is SDR Uno and the software receiver, uh, the SDR receiver is an SDR Plays RSPDX. As you can see here, we're starting to get a signal coming through. OK, ignore the fact that it's really weak. It doesn't matter. What we're looking at here is the lower CW beacon. And what we're going to concentrate on is the top right hand corner of SDR Uno, where we've zoomed in to the actual signal. And we should be able to see here any drift. Now, remember, this is the Octagon PLL version. It's unmodified. It's as it is as if you're going to buy it from the shop. And what we're going to do is monitor this over some time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fast forward this video so you can see how much it drifts over what kind of period of time. So around here, this is where I kind of had to alter the display slightly because it was actually starting to go off the scale because I'm actually zoomed in quite a lot there. But as you can see, this whole segment of video, this is actually around 12 minutes long. So you can see that for 12 minutes, it's constantly creeping up in frequency. Or should I say the uh, CW signals creeping up in frequency, which pretty much means that the uh, IF is actually dropping down in frequency. 
Now left for another 10 minutes recording and you can actually see it got to a point where it's now actually starting to go back down. So it's not very stable at all. Um, now I do know there are some modifications that can be made to this particular model. Uh, you can GPS lock it. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and have a look at how the Bullseye 10 kilohertz ultra stable LMB works and performs. OK, so we have the Bullseye LMB in exactly the same place using exactly the same dish. We've just applied some power and we can instantly see the signal, CW signal start to appear. Now you probably will notice that there is some drift here and that's probably down to the temperature and obviously as things kind of warm up. Now there's a great piece of software and a lot of people use it, SDR console. That has a really unique feature where you can lock onto the beacon and the software itself will actually tune itself to keep it dead on frequency. Now the software is going to have a much easier job at keeping it on frequency with something like the Bullseye LMB because there's not as much drift as it is with a standard like Octagon, for example. Now, earlier on when we was looking at the Bullseye LMB, we noticed that it had two ports. One was colored green and one was colored red. Now the green one, as mentioned before, the IF off to your SDR receiver and the red one was a 25 megahertz reference signal. Now as you can see here, I've got a second cable actually coming from the LMB into my shack and I've got that connected directly to an AirSpy Mini. Now, if you look here on the screen, we can see a 25 megahertz signal constantly there as a reference signal coming from the Bullseye LMB. So there we go, guys. That's an overview of the brand new Bullseye LMB. Now, as of this moment of recording this video, I believe that stock for this LMB is currently making its way to the fulfillment centers and hopefully it should be released soon. As soon as it's released, I will post some details of where you can purchase this from. Now, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and until the next one, you take care and I'll see you then.